Hi everyone, Tim the Plain Man here and welcome back to Plain Time Red Baron Triplane Edition. So maybe you saw my previous video and if not, maybe check it out uh, where we did the uh, fake unboxing of the um, of the plane that I've basically been spending the last couple of months building from the Dancing Wings Hobby Kit. You know, I really appreciate your comments and suggestions. I think it helps me and it helps others with building the model. And also it follows on from, like I said before, um, CJ of my RC channel who uh, built the first, you know, the plane all the way up to the basic um, uh, dry assembly, which is where I, I think I tried to take over. So now uh, it's a question of taking uh, the model with all of the pieces and assembling it into a plane. And actually it should be fairly straightforward. There's not too much um, questions or challenges left, but there's some interesting little nuances as we go through. So um, just want to mention that uh, as I kind of alluded to in the, in the previous video, the, um, I finished the wings with uh, silk span and, uh, and paint uh, rather than doing a uh, like a, a, an Orico solar film type, type plastic covering. Um, I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. It was exactly what I was hoping for. Um, what I have is, you know, I basically finished it with um, silk span, water shrunk, uh, three coats of dope. I used Easy Dope and it worked great. No such problem like I had when I tried to put the uh, cling film underneath. So it's, it's really come out really, really nice. Uh, and then I did uh, one coat of clear, um, Krylon clear as sort of a, a sealer. So Krylon clear sealer to seal the, the Easy Dope and then painted it with just a spray can of, um, I'll put the can up, but it's a, it's called a chalked finish. So I wanted to have like a matte finish to it and I'm really happy how that came out. It's, it's a basically a, a really nice matte finish. So I did, I did a white undercoat on the whole wing, then masked off the part that I wanted to stay white and then painted the other parts in the red. And it's both this uh, really nice chalked uh, Rust-Oleum, I think it is, a chalked um, finish paint, which I don't know, I really like it. And then of course the, uh, the decals, which are the out of the box Dancing Wings Hobby decals stuck on and then lastly a coat of actually several coats of white lacquer over the top to seal everything so i'm hoping that that gives us a nice you know sealed against moisture finish it's actually quite solid here although still a little fragile if i get anything sharp near it um you know i can i can accidentally create a like a dimp dimple in the in the finish so i have to be very careful not to um, get too close with, for example, uh, my knife or anything like that. It'll it'll go straight through it. I mean, I guess with the R cover it would too, but it, it really is quite fragile. But um, but it's actually I think it'll fly nicely. It's it's quite solid. And like I said, with the with the um, the lacquer that I put on, I think I won't have any problem with, uh, uh, for example, sagging uh, or moisture. Um, although I still won't fly it in the weather that we've got around here, where even if it, the rain stopped, it's still very damp. I mean, very, very damp. It's just lingering around. So I'll wait till everything is very dry before I fly it, but I've still got a little bit, little ways to go. So having said that, uh, I just want to talk about how, um, oh, uh, okay, I mentioned the servos, that's all covered. So yeah, I just want to talk about what I'm going to do next. So. In the kit that comes with the Dancing Wings Hobby plane, there are actually only, for some reason, three hinges that come out of the kit. Not sure why there would only be three, um, but they're very small, very... Oh my goodness, I just noticed in that little plastic bag with the hinges, there's a windshield. There's a tiny little windshield in here little tiny piece of plastic. I probably would have missed it. I was wondering why there wasn't a windshield. Well, there is a windshield. So let me, I'll just pull that out. I, since this is just a, a surprise to me. I didn't even realize that was here. But here it is. I mean, you probably, it's 
probably quite hard to see, but there's a little windshield, and it's just in this one little plastic bag along with the three um, so-called paper hinges, or CA hinges, because you typically apply them with CA. I actually think they're, they're a fiberglass um, fiber um, in terms of how they're constructed, but in any case, there is a, so I'm not going to want to lose that because because um, there is a windshield. So that's actually like bonus. I didn't even realize that was there. But the point was I was going to say those those three hinges, I'm pretty sure, are for the tail feathers. Uh, in particular, uh, I think, um, you know, I think I will use them. I'm not sure if this is how they're intended to be used, but I think I will be using them for the uh, the rudder, and, yeah, because you, you, you need you need fairly small, fairly precise hinges for those. So it doesn't matter because I actually have a collection of hinges like this that I got from Dancing Wings Hobby. They sell various different sizes in uh, in these little bags, and I have several different um, sizes and shapes. And I'm going to use uh, this other size here. I'm going to basically I'm going to use these ones. So I mean, I guess I could measure it just to see what they are. So that's about 15 millimeters, 16 millimeters long by about a centimeter wide. And I think they'll be perfect for the hinges for the ailerons, because that's what I'm gonna do now. So my plan is I'm basically gonna get the, start with getting the ailerons working. Um, I'll use a servo tester to line them up and make sure that the, they're connected with their, um, their push rods and uh, then I'll move on in, in steps from there. So this is the first step, is get the ailerons working. And that's actually upside down. It's gonna go in like this. And last thing I just quickly mentioned before, you know, I go ahead, What? I, well, I mean, I'm just gonna slice in here, perhaps four, I think, maybe three, but possibly four uh, hinges. So a, a slice in here, put in the hinge. This is a nice and solid um, piece of balsa here for the uh, for the other side of the hinge um, that goes into the wing side and the um, and what I did is that's that's flat right I didn't I didn't round that so I've left that that a, the wing edge flat so it's actually flat there if you can see that and the aileron side, where are we, is is rounded. So I, I, it's basically just sanding. I mean, I sanded, so I sanded this edge round so that when, when the aileron moves, it's basically got, um, it's not gonna bind against the, against the wing, but hopefully we get a reasonably good airflow across the wing by having that's still flat. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I'll install the uh, the push rods and uh, and lastly, just to mention the uh, the control horns that come with the plane. Um, they're basically in here. Let's see if I can get that visible. So they're basically. I'm not sure if this is just a stiff plastic. Um, if it is, it's got threads in it. Um, it's it's fairly uh, it's not just plastic right there's there's actually some kind of cross hatching in there there's, so there's there's something inside there to make this quite a nice little strong piece there's four of these which means one each for one ailer for each aileron that I'm going to do now and then one each for elevator and rudder so uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that now and hopefully we'll see how this goes but I have a, an idea that if I don't talk too much um, I can drop in and just um, give you a quick progress in the one video uh, as I go and if I do talk too much I guess I'll I'll cut it out so hard to tell how many videos this will end up being uh, assembling the plane together so uh, thanks for joining me Hope, please like subscribe um, to see the progress especially if you're uh, one of those out there building this beautiful dancing wings hobby model and uh
so I thought I'd drop out to just tell you about, uh, I don't know, something a little fiddly. Um, and probably, uh, hopefully a little hint that'll help you um, with connecting up the servos. So as you can see, uh, I've got the, the hinges. Uh, it's hinged. I have to glue it, but it's basically in place. And so basically what I'm doing now is looking to put the control rods in for the servos which require fitting these uh, there's, a, there's a name, technical name for these and I don't know what it is but um, these little servo connectors onto the servo arms and if uh, you know you might have just seen from the time lapse that I actually had to remove the servo out of the wing here uh, and drill out the first hole on the servo arm so really just a hint here is um, probably pre-drill that hole and it's what's this one here okay so basically that needs to be drilled out and make sure that it's you know loose fitting so that it actually spins so you don't get any binding with the servo arm so many people have warned about that before um, I don't need to explain how to connect servo arms I just wanted to explain that um, it might have made it my life a little help easier and probably would make your life a little easier if you drill out the hole in the servo arm and probably install this fit this fitting before you drop the servo into the little um, the little cavity for the servo on the wing so I'll just keep on working here what I'm going to do next is just do the other one the same and then I think I'll be gluing First, I'll, I'll glue the hinges in, and then I will. The last thing to do will be to actually put the control horn in, which, as you can see, I found a little. There's a little hole here, um, pre-set up for the servo uh, uh, horns, and I just need to put those servo horns uh, and glue them in into those little slots there. So I think we're making good progress. Uh, I'm going to keep on going. Wow, look at that. Okay, so 
I find this fascinating. Um, maybe it's just uh, being a little silly, but um, I don't know. I just love this part. So I have my wings assembled. There it is with the ailerons fully hinged on both sides. In other words, you know, both of the main wings with the ailerons fully hinged. And I have the control horns connected and with a servo tester here I can show you that they do in fact work. So we got not a lot of throw there. And let's go and try it manually. Now what I'm getting, I, I don't know, this is a little jagged on this one. It's a little it, it's jumpy, this right one. But I mean, it is working. So that one's that one works the right. I think it's because this wire is not quite bent straight. I don't think it'll be a problem. And I think we have so we have fully functional ailerons there. And let's have a look at the other one. That will do nicely. So let's center it. So we've got it centered and they're lined up perfectly flat when they're centered, both of them. And they are ready to be installed into the plane. So, and that's not the next step because I wanted to get the, the top wing done with the ailerons ready. Uh, I think the next thing I want to do is uh, set up the cowling on the front of the plane so that um, so that I don't have to fiddle with the cowling after the wings are on because I think I'm going to be doing some messing around with screws and things so I, I have this sort of order of things that I plan to do it in one is get the top wings ready next get the cowling done um, I think after that I might set up the control surfaces on the rudder and, and uh, elevator but without actually gluing them in place so basically make sure they're working then I'll put on the bottom wing the middle wing the struts and then the top wing goes on top then I'll actually fit the cowling that I will have done the screws for before and finally last step will be to glue on the uh, the empennage I think it's called the tail tail feathers and then we'll have a fully functional plane. So, oh, that just looks so nice. I just love that. Look at that. Look at those uh, those wings. Um, you know, I'm looking at the, the the screen from down, which I'm just going to show you right now. I, I I really really like that. And there we go. We have fully functional ailerons glued in, and just waiting to be put into a uh, plane with a motor and transmitter and and get into the air so uh, progress okay I've got ailerons I have fully functional working wings with ailerons